Hi again. I'd like to continue the discussion here of using slices to create images and uh, using them in Xcode and Storyboard here. So, you know, in the last example, I imported some images, moved them into my XC assets here, and then I sliced them up, set the options over on the attribute inspector, and then I used the images in Storyboard here to create a button. So I set them as the background for the button, okay? And so in this video, what I'd like to do is I'd like to point out that um, I use the, the, the images here on the button, but the, uh, the sliced images can actually be used on a lot of elements. So, you know, for example, um, you can use them on the uh, UI text field. So if I grab the UI text field and I drag it out here and I resize it a little bit, um, I can choose a background image here in the attribute inspector. So I'll choose this. And I don't see any image here, and that's because this option for the UI text field, the last one here for the border style, doesn't allow for a picture. You also can't set the height when you're in this mode. But if you choose one of these other settings, then you can. So I'm going to switch to this first one because this is the borderless option. So, you know, if I choose that, then I don't get a border at all. And my background image shows up, and now the text will fall inside here. Okay? So I can save that and we'll test it. And there we go. And, and while this one works, it's, it's something less than ideal. You can see the text runs right up to the edge there. So that doesn't, doesn't work particularly well here, though it does work. Um, so how can we work with that, right? So what I think I'm going to do to make this really work here is I'll, I'll delete that text field and, uh, Let's, let's also try this, right? I'm going to scroll down the objects here, and I'm going to find the, um, the UI image view. And the image view works the same way. And if you assign one of the sliced images to the image view, it will fill the image view. Okay, so I'm going to select the image view here. And uh, I'll choose the image here for, for us to fill the view with, and I'll choose button. And you can see the sliced image fills the area. And, you know, the, the option for the image view here, the mode, will determine how the image fills there. So I have it scale to fill. And if I choose aspect fill, then it'll keep the image aspect, but, uh, you know, fill the entire box there, right? You know, so one of, these, one of these ones might, you know, work better for some circumstances. For this use here, I want to fill the entire box, so I'm going to choose scale to fill. Okay, so now you can see this fills the whole area. So imagine that maybe this was going to be the background for my, my text input. Then I could do this and place a text field in front of the image view. And maybe I'll size it like this. And maybe turn off the uh, the background or the border, right? So now I have a text field in front of this thing, and that adds a little padding on the outside. You can add padding to the text field, um, or I think it's image inset or content inset, something like that. But you have to do it through code. They don't have an option, as far as I know, in in Storyboard. So this is another route to do it. You know, using a separate um, a separate you know UI image view behind the text field. So I'll, I'll test, the, uh, test the project there, and now you can see this is my input field, and if I click on it, I can type, and the text has a nice padding around the outside. So, you know, again, like when we're using the slices, they can fill, you know, the whole area, and we can do it with the button, and we can do it with the text field, and we can do the same thing with the, um, with the UI image view. And I think it works on a couple more of these things in here, but you know, pretty much when the image is sliced up, it'll just fill the area, okay? So there you go, there's a quick example there of using slices again.